Hey there, welcome to my backyard studio. I'm Carly Lake and I'm a fiber artist and illustrator. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to mordant cellulose fibers. To achieve best results with natural dyes, you want to mordant your fabric. Mordanting is the process of adding a substance to your fibers to get them ready to absorb the dye, creating a chemical bridge for the fiber and the dye. Cellulose fibers are obtained from a plant. Some common ones are cotton, hemp, linen, and rayon. These fibers have naturally occurring pectins, waxes, and fatty substances. These substances can interrupt the mordant, and so we want to remove them first. So this video will be a two-part process. First, scouring the fabric, or cleaning it, and removing those substances. And then the second part will focus on adding the mordant. For the scouring and mordanting process, you'll need the following supplies. We want a kitchen scale, stirring spoons, two five gallon buckets, measuring cups, a cup to weigh out any powders, diastatic malt powder, soda ash, aluminum acetate or aluminum sulfate, and calcium carbonate. You can find all of these powders for purchase online. Keep in mind that you'll want to use supplies that are separate from anything you use with your cooking, baking, in your kitchen. So first, scouring. First, you're going to get your fibers and you're going to be washing them with warm water and a fourth a cup of diastatic malt powder. If you don't have a washing machine, you can do this in a pot with hot water. After your fibers have gone through the wash with diastatic malt powder, you're going to leave them overnight. And this allows the enzymes in the malt powder to break down the pectins and the waxes on the cellulose fibers. After leaving your fibers in a safe place overnight, you're going to add them again to your washer and throw in one cup of soda ash. You're going to be washing this cycle with hot water this time. If you don't have a washer for this step, you can also throw this together in a pot and you can really scour the stuff for several hours with hot water. After you've finished the scouring process, you want to weigh your fibers, if you haven't already, and prepare your aluminum acetate. The alum weight will be 10% of your fiber weight. Then you want to fill your five gallon bucket or pot with hot water. For mordanting, you don't need to worry about bringing your water to a boil. You can use the hot water from your sink and fill your bucket with that, and that will be sufficient. And you can add the alum in. The next step is to wet your fibers with warm water. Then you will add your fibers into the bucket. I like to add just a few fibers at a time, enough that they can freely move in the bucket of water. Leave your fibers in there for 20 to 30 minutes. Then you can remove those fibers, set them aside, and add more fibers if you need to. After your fibers have been in the alum bath, they are going to go in another bucket where you're going to prepare the calcium carbonate bath. The calcium carbonate will help to improve the performance of the alum mordant. For this bath, you want to use a ratio of 5% of your fiber weight for the calcium carbonate weight. So now add your fibers into this bucket and you want to leave it in there for about five to 10 minutes. Next, rinse your fibers really well and they are ready to dip in your dye bath. Store any fibers that you don't want to dye with right away in a protected bag or bin away from dust and dirt and they will be good to dye with indefinitely. In order to create the least harm to dispose of our mordant and our calcium carbonate bath, we want to wait until the alum and the calcium carbonate settles to the bottom. Then you can pour off the diluted water in a garden or down the drain and reuse any of these leftover materials for another bath. I have the recipe and steps for this process on my website at carlylake.com sharing. 
Let me know if you have any questions or comments on this process or any other questions about mordantine or dyeing. Thank you so much for tuning in and have fun exploring the array of colors that you can add to your now mordanted fabric.